Being able to get into a deeper flow state is the most important factor in determining your success. So I'm going to teach you everything that I learned. This guide is for you if you always leave things to the last minute or if you feel like you've been working all day but then you're disappointed by how much you got done. You're going to accomplish more work in 90 minutes than you normally do in a full day and the work quality will even improve. So what is deep work? Deep work is when you focus on the few very important tasks, you put all your effort into them for only a couple hours, and after you spend those 90 minutes, you'll feel a really nice feeling of productivity. A lot of this is based on the 80-20 rule. Believe it or not, only 20% of the work that you do actually benefits you. The other 80% is just small, meaningless benefits. So we want to drastically reduce the time you spend on those. And you probably had that belief of the any benefit, which is that there's probably be some benefit to check in my emails five hours a day and that mindset is something that we are going to destroy because sure there is a benefit but there also is a huge sacrifice the ideal day is where you spend all your time on the 20 percent of the deep work tasks and you spend the rest of the day relaxing and having fun with your family so that the next day you feel refreshed and ready to do your work deep work is a long dis undistracted work period on those important tasks there was a study done by king's college in london uk and this absolutely absolutely appalled me. They tested participants who are high on weed before completing a task and this other group was doing their work while checking their phone and the group that kept on checking their phone was a bigger distraction than being high. Isn't that crazy? Most people work worse than being high. Let's move on to the next session and set some goals. I got this goal page from Hansa and it's absolutely amazing. Follow this exactly even if you set your goals before. At the top of your paper write down your passions and why because this is what you're going to work towards. Then at the bottom of the page, write alpha goals, beta goals, and weekly lead measures. Alpha goals is your identity goals. Beta goals is like your motivational goals, and the lead measures are the habits. So let's start off with alpha goals. This is your identity. You should write it down like you already have it. So if you're wise to get into a good university, you should write, I am a top grade student. I am a top grade student. Don't say want to or will. Say I am because your self identity is crucial to your success. For the beta goals, we're going to use a smart goal framework. This is a why you're doing this grind, what the rewards will be for you at the end of the year like for me is to get to 10,000 subscribers the reason we do this is to excite ourselves and finally we have the lead measures which are the habits that you have to do to achieve the beta and alpha goals so for example my beta goal was to get 10,000 subscribers so my lead measure will be to produce three to five high quality videos a week the easiest thing to put down is how many hours of deep work a day you will put into this. Now, your life page should be on one page and the lead measures are what we are going to focus on in the deep work blocks. Now, let's set your deep work routine. I'll tell you mine and try to take some parts of it. We are all different so what works for me might not work for you, but this is a baseline. So I go to sleep at 10pm and I wake up at 7am. I brush my teeth, meditate for 5 minutes, gratitude junior for 1 minute, read 10 pages and I'll go up and start my 90 minute work block. By the way, I didn't check my phone a single time during this period because checking your phone in the morning severely reduces the amount of quality work you can put in. Just before I start my deep work flow session, I do the Andrew Huberman brief breathing tactic, which is to inhale quickly through the nose and exhale, exhale quickly through the mouth like this. And I do that 25 to 30 times. Then during the 90 minutes, I'll set a timer for 90 minutes and I'll set a challenge for myself. For example, if I'm writing a script, I'll aim for 2,500 words, and this is utilizing a powerful technique called Parkinson's Law. This is where you set up a challenge and you compete with yourself to beat it. Then after my first deep session, I'll do some offline things like fill up my water bottle and I take a shit for 5-10 to 10 minutes, and then I go back into another block. By the way, I still haven't checked my phone once, so I'm incredibly mindful and present. Then I'll eat, and then I'll do another block, and after that I'll do my normal activities like go to the gym some shallow tasks and one or two more sessions another important thing to mention is to have a shutdown ritual this is important for that work-life balance and so you don't feel like you're working 24 7 and is to have a shutdown ritual create a checkoff list it can be on your phone or on paper i just use a note app on my phone and after i'm done with my work so around 7 or 6 p.m i'll check it off and i'm done for the day now we have to optimize our environment for a deeper flow state because if you don't do this 
it's impossible to get into a deep brick flow state. So what we are going to do is to go on our settings, then notifications, and click off show notifications. What this is going to do is if we receive a notification, we will just see Gmail. We will just see that and not the contents of the email or message because it's what's inside of these messages that mess us up. Then turn on do not disturb or in airplane mode. Then put it in a different room so it's completely out of sight. Then turn off notifications for your PC or laptop because the last thing that we want is to get an email as you're about to get into a deeper flow state and we respond to it and our work quality and speed deteriorates for the next 15 minutes. The ideal scenario is a pure morning where three to four hours after we wake up, we don't have any internet influences or distractions. It's just you locked in your room with your work. If you have any morning habits that you need to do like take out the dog, either do it before or after because you don't want our dad to get mad and make us do it in the middle of our session. Also, get into the habit of not checking your phone in the morning. This is single-handedly making your productivity 50% worse. Now, we are going to talk about accountability. This is crucial for deep work and you need to do this. Grab a paper and write down the dates of the day and every single deep work session you finish, put in one tally. You have to be honest because if you lie to yourself, you are only hurting yourself. I also recommend to do this on paper and stick it right in your face where it's always visible so you can't hide from it. It's also helpful to get a friend or brother and send him this page every day so if you fuck up, he can call you bitch and shit. Or if you don't do enough, then he can do something to you, like you have to give him 5 bucks or you have to kiss his shoes on video. Now, we are going to go over the most crucial part of this course and that is mindset for success. And this mindset for Cal and Newport says to have is a scarcity mindset for your time because it's true you'll never get your time back millionaires are scarce with their time and poor people are scarce with their money tell yourself that your time is too valuable to waste checking emails and start viewing shallow tasks as instant gratification because that's what it is you're jerking off your brain to trick yourself into thinking that you're productive the goal of deep work is to get your important tasks done really quick then have the rest of the day to relax and prepare for tomorrow's deep work sessions what we don't want is a day full of shallow work where you just end the day and you just feel fatigued and you feel like I don't feel rested, I didn't have fun, I feel like I worked all day but I barely made any progress to my work. This feeling is something that I used to feel quite often and it's a horrible feeling man. You need to kill this feeling of FOMO because that's how these people get you. You feel like you'll miss out if you don't respond to messages, you feel like you, someone will get mad at you and they will and you will miss out. But think about how much better your life would be and how meaningless missing out on a party invite or someone getting mad at you for some not answering is. Another important thing is to know that multitasking is a myth. Sure you can multitask shallow work but you cannot multitask deep work because let's say I'm 25 minutes in, I'm writing my script and then I check my phone once, then I talk to my mom, then I scroll on TikTok for a bit. What that does is that it scatters your brain cells all over the place. So let's say you have 20 brain cells, 5 is focused on the messages you got, 5 is focused on the conversation you had with your mom. Five is focused on what you saw on TikTok. So now you only have five left for your deep work sessions. And what that leads to is worse quality work and slower work. Another hack Cal Newport mentions is batching. That is when you let shallow tasks pile up so you don't have to respond to them individually. Think about it. Would you wash one piece of clothing? No, you'd wait for more clothes to get dirty and then you'd do laundry because doing it once is easier than doing it 10 times a week. So do the same thing for your messages. Wait until 12 p.m. to answer your messages all at once because it will all pile up and you can answer them all at once. Something that Tim Ferriss and Cal Newport and Andrew Huberman says is that your deep work time is capped to 4 hours per day and your ego is too big. You can't work for 8 hours a day. Sure you can do 8 hours of shallow tasks a day but that is meaningless shit. You are low level at the skill so just aim for one deep work session a day and slowly build it up. Also start praising yourself. After every single deep work session you complete, check off your tally and say yes I did 90 minutes I'm so proud of myself. I'm working towards my goal. The reason the reason we do this is because we will start to crave that feeling and so we want to hear that praise again. So we do more deep work sessions. 
Finally, have a hard work cutoff, so no work after 7pm for example. Even if you get that bad feeling of I could have uploaded another video because like I said before, you have to be okay with bad things happening because if you don't set a clear time for the shutdown ritual, you won't achieve that desired work-life balance that you want. As you go into bed, you'll start thinking about that email and then that will, that will mess with your recovery for tomorrow's deep work session. You're done with this guide. Good job. This skill of deep work is so crucial for your success. Any high level entrepreneur is amazing at this skill. This changed my life as a former pussy who barely did the shallow task to getting more work done than I ever had in my entire life. Start taking action immediately, knowing that you won't be perfect. Just strive to be better than tomorrow and take the accountability thing seriously. Put it right in your face because you don't want it to look back. Another thing that I recommend is to come back to the mindset part of this video because as a beginner you won't be able to fully comprehend all of them. As you slowly get better at the skill, come back so you can learn and master all of them. Keep improving and optimizing your schedule. I really hope this guide helped you because this absolutely changed my life. Click and watch this video right now.